Hey, well, hey guys. Didn't see you guys there. This is your boy, Chris, back at it again with another video for you guys. Um, welcome back to my channel, guys. Um, this is your boy, Chris. Um, thank you for joining the Dream Squad. Matter of fact, this is Airman Welts talking to y'all, and y'all are in my room. Let me tell y'all why y'all in my room today, because I created, I created a whole bunch of YouTubers. I created some YouTubers, and Tyler's over there taking over the studio. He's making a YouTube video as we speak for his channel, Fly Today's Video. I got a lot to talk about. Um, you know, with any military video, I just want to go ahead and say a disclaimer. This is all my opinion. This is my opinion base. This is all my personal choices. You know, by all means, you do your research and you figure out what works best for you. But um, I decided to go enlisted instead of go, being an officer, going straight away and being an officer. Um, you know, the process for me, what was the process? You know, um, you know, I'm an older recruit. Um, I was 28 at the time, I'm 29 now. Um, I didn't want to wait another year as I get older to, you know, enlist and take my officer test. And then I wait a year to take the test and then who knows, I may not get in. They may not accept my package. And I just was being impatient um, in my older age and just wanted to get in a career, a different career and get things done. So that was one of the reasons why I did, you know, um, so, I, I, you know, because I'm an older recruiter in the A1C, you know, you hear a lot of like, you know, <laughs> the recruiters probably got you, blase, blase. A lot of the people you meet in the military have been in since they were, you know, straight out of college or straight out of, you know, high school or whatever it is. So, you know, they're a lot younger and, you know, it's all, it's cool. You know, I'm still young, I'm still in my twenties. Um, but that's one of the biggest reasons. Uh, I just mainly, mainly just the process. You know, um, I went to school for sports management and I have literally, okay, besides my first job in Brooklyn, at the Brooklyn Nets, um, I pretty much never used that degree. I've been in, working in like sales and, um, you know, I was a student in the Dallas, Texas area and, um, you know, he pushed me to take my ASVAB. I took my ASVAB, you know, I had the, the ASVAB for dummies book because I was studying, you know, I was ready to crush it. And basically, uh, I scored pretty well. Um, put in my dream sheet, basically, of jobs I wanted. You know, I was thinking, I was thinking about, you know, air traffic control, things like that, blase, blase. Things I knew, I knew I didn't want to stay in the military. I knew I was just doing it for a different career and take that knowledge. And you know, being in the military looks good, great on your resume. You know, you get government jobs, state jobs, things like that. So I was like, boom, I'm gonna use this opportunity, get a great job, take it out of the civilian world. And um, so I guess you can say also, that was one of the reasons why I didn't wanna wait that one, that whole year out and um, become an officer because I didn't know if I wanted to, I didn't know, it was so much unknown about the military. Like you see so much stuff on the TV and I didn't know if that life would be for me. You know, I have a family. It's not like I'm single and alone. So I wasn't sure if that would be good for me and the family. You know, I felt like it would be a lot of moving around, jumping from school to school. And, you know, thankfully my wife works from home. So, you know, we don't really have to worry about her. The last reason I chose, a lot of people respect officers that have enlisted prior service, um, who are enlisted first and then went officer. They get more respect because they kind of know how it is to be enlisted. and. You know, me being a civilian, working as a civilian originally, and not just only working in the um, the military world, um, I kind of knew how that felt. You know, I've worked jobs where, you know, I was the I was working the enlisted role, the the worker bees, and you know, the officer or the manager would come in, never work, you know, never worked a day really as a he got just hired on as the manager and don't really know the processes that hard. Not saying that's how it is, but you know, that's what I'm saying. So, you know, it's basically like you're just jumping into this role. You just got that role just cause you got a degree basically. You know, I don't know. I, 
that's, that's how it is. But you know, you know, not to say they don't get trained just like the enlisted gets trained, but you know, it's kind of how it feels. You know, you know, you're kind of being managed or by somebody that just came out of college, and you know, they're kind of new to the field. Whereas you could be enlisted, a master, you could be like a master sergeant enlisted, and you know, you kind of have to salute and respect uh, the officer, no matter what rank of officer, even if he's an old one. So um, that was the reason for me. Um, by all means, do your research, talk to your recruiters, talk to your, talk to the officer recruiters, talk to enlisted recruiters, uh, weigh out the options, see what your degree uh, may get you, uh, what, what career field the options you would have, and you know, whatever makes sense for you, uh, if you have a family, you and your family. Um, another thing I would say is in order to be an officer to make a strong package, you know, they mostly look for, they are looking for four year degrees and, um, you know, mostly like engineering, architecture. Uh, if you speak to a recruiter, they'll tell you what degrees they're mainly looking for. So um, that was something also um, that kind of push, put, put, that's something that also put me on hold on um, pursuing the officer role. So um, once again, if you're if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel Dream Squad. We going up, we doing this thing. Uh, drop a like, cause you know the YouTube add the rhythm likes that like button. Hit the like button. What are you doing? Drop a comment down below. It's your boy.